AITA, stepdaughter refuses to take trips unless she gets her own room. This has been a struggle for a minute. We have a blended family, my SD is 13, my bio sons are 14, 12 and 10. SD is with us every other weekend and extended time in the summer, my sons are on a 50-50 schedule with myself and my ex-backstory, my divorced husband's ex-wife has court findings of parental alienation and court orders are in place as a result, it's been four years since we moved in together trying to navigate relationships. For the most part, things are good. I make significantly more than DH, which is fine. I also love travel, so this has been a change in lifestyle for DH and SD, because I schedule trips for the family to enjoy. But for a family of six, I'm not trying to break the bank. SD has gone on one trip with just us without my boys, we went to Florida and she got her own room and she loved it. That was the first vacation she took on a plane. The next family trip, she was unable to go to with us, long story, her choice. The following spring she chose to come to Mexico with us, but had to share a room, not a bed, everyone has own beds in VRBO, which she did not like. So when we booked the trip to Hawaii, she chose not to come because she was told the kids wouldn't have their own rooms, double bunk beds in a room. Then the court stuff happened and the schedule was ironed out, so we scheduled trips when she was with us, so it wouldn't be a choice and we could all experience new things together. We scheduled NYC, she slept on the sofa bed in the living area, two of the boys shared a bed, another slept on an air mattress in a large hallway area. Aside from complaining a here and there, the trip was pretty fun. We got invited on a friend's trip, my DH's friends, to the Gulf. Her mom said she can come if she wants, like I said, things are getting better, so of course we asked all the kids to come with us. DH told her he wanted her there, these experiences are so important, travel and stepping out of your comfort zone is great for life and living, you're loved and wanted, etc. It's not during our time with her, so it's her choice. She won't come unless she is guaranteed her own room. We're all booking a big house, with a bunch of other families, it's possible she could have her own room, so long as everyone else and their children are also fine with sharing slash overcrowding a room. She was told we couldn't promise that and chose not to come. AITA for not shelling out the money to book an additional room on vacations? She is the only girl, but, another room means not having the money for experiences. There is always privacy and no one shares a bed. When she travels with mom, she shares bed with mom, the rest of family slash siblings, I'm not sure. I just don't want her missing out or us causing lifelong relational issues. Edit, the kids all get along really well. Second edit, we did hear her on her own space, so she doesn't share room, we always find somewhere with sofa beds to make sure there is space, 